So today we're going to show you guys a bought our wood stove. We get a lot of questions about it. So you're going to notice that I'm going to have to climb in here because this section from here up is fresh green wood. You do not want to burn that. So I'm going to move some of this over there. We're going to grab the dry stuff. We normally don't go through this much. We went through quite a bit of wood this year, but we had the coldest year we've had in a long time. So we're into our backup stash. All right, so I cleaned up the ash. Didn't, uh, no, this wasn't recording, but you only take a little bit. You wanna leave a good inch on the bottom. Well, I do. Because if you don't, you can wreck your brick. So what I do is I always pull the big chunks. I try to get these to the front. And by doing that, it will, all your air comes in the door here because it has a glass wash. So it keeps the glass clean. So you want all your at or your coals right here to help start up the fire right away. This is the Drillit 3000 or no Drillit H HD 2500. It's done really good. It said when we bought this one, it was supposed to heat 3,000 square feet, and this is a two by four um, structure um, house, and it's was moved in, so a lot of insulation is settled. So this is very good for our house. Only how it doesn't heat our house above 70 is when it was negative 20 and negative 10 was the high. And we had a couple days, we have quite a few days of those, but uh, it would heat it to 68, so which is still fine. So see how there's like a white film there? You don't need any special cleaners for this. All you need is a paper towel, and I just literally run the water and just put a little bit underneath the water, that's it. And it comes right off. That's what's nice about these stoves. And if you have black marks, that's really bad. Then you can just take <clears throat> um, take the ash and you just dip it in the ash and then wipe it down. But that's good enough. It looks smearing, doesn't look perfect, but once the fire's gone, this all goes away. So you can see I have a white spot here on the stove and on top. I have a top for this here. And you never really can see well in there and know how full it is. So it overflowed one day and made a mess. But anyways, that's why that is there. Now on these new stoves, they say to do a top down light system, which it doesn't matter. It's whatever you prefer. You can do bottom up. I've done, I've done both ways. I found if you can get a decent um, fire started on the top, with a bunch of kindling and whatnot, your better odds of running like this stove will run. Uh, I got it was 10 hours I've ran this where it was above 400 for 10 hours. So, but that's that was with oak. So what I like to do is it's cold, basically cold stove. It's at 100 degrees. So I'm gonna take some cardboard and I just rip it up in little strips like this. Throw some in the back, throw some up front here. And then I take another smaller chunk of wood, like this will work. We're gonna go sideways in the top. Nestle it in there. Same with this one. 
if I can get this to fit. There we go. Now you can see the coals down there trying to start it. So I just get it quick. So the fire is doing pretty good. So it's taking a little bit. I should have had more kindling ready, but it's fine. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> um, I've noticed out of all the logs, the one right here, right there, see on the edge, there is a little bit of liquid spewing out. So you'll know what, what I mean if you ever have wet wood in a fireplace, it, it'll hiss at you. And you'll see it out the end of the logs. It'll get wet and then sometimes it'll bubble, but this one's not bubbling, but it's hissing and I can see it's a little wet on the end. So um, it's going good so far. So it's about heated up to 300 degrees. When it's there, I'll show you what I do next. And then basically you just let it sit all day long and it just heats your house for you. So as you can see, everything's engulfed in flames right now. Ever since I added that piece in the middle, it really just took off. The temp is rising, it's up to 400. So what I like to do now is, I like to cut it down when it gets to 300, but this is my air intake. And I like to come down to about right there, about half, a little under. And just give it a minute, let it build up, and it'll start. You slowly bring it down, and it's a lot better for it. I, what I've found, anyways. All right, then a few. So now I'm gonna come down. I like to go even with there. So this is all closed, and I like to come back. Probably about 80%, I suppose. 90%, actually, probably. But we're gonna leave you guys on a time lapse, and I gotta set you back a little farther. So I'm gonna set you back a little farther so you don't get too hot and melt the microphone. And then what I'm gonna do is put you down low like this. So you can see the afterburn. So I think that is the coolest thing. And that starts. And that's it. That's exactly it. I got that zoom so far in. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing else that I really do. It'll cruise like that now until later tonight. And I'll come down and I'll load it again. The reason why there wasn't, there's always a lot of coals in the morning. The reason why, isn't, the, bleh, the reason why there wasn't a lot of coals this morning, it wasn't until 9.30 time I got to this. Plus, I started a fire, I think it was at 3.30 yesterday, the day before. So, and I never loaded it again. But reloads are really simple on this if you keep them within the 10 hour mark um, and you have really good dry wood. It's pretty easy, pretty fast, lights up quick. So if you're wondering the wood situation, this was all the wood that we brought in with the sleds and then what I have in there and those two sleds. So now all this wood right here, this will last us almost three days if it doesn't get down to negative 20 and it gets into the teens at night. It'll be about three days. So I'd say that's worth it. And to heat our house, our house is 2,100 square feet. And at 2,100 square feet, this does 3,000 square foot house, but it's not that great insulation. We generally, on a normal Minnesota winter, um, on a Minnesota winter, we would go through about a cord and a half. So, and this year we're going just over two cord. We're probably gonna hit, I would say almost three cause it's only, it just be, being in March right now. And it's, it was just a cold year. I mean, it's, it happens. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Love the stove. I would recommend anyone to get it, really. The new one's even better, so. Yeah, I hope this helps someone out, out there. 
and uh, buddy, I see me again. <laughs> Bye.